Right, so today on Full Boost, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about Apex seals. Is the logo up the right way? Yes, it is. So everyone knows rotary engines are the most unreliable engine in the market, and they just blow up at a drop of a hat. Um, it's not entirely true, although early days, they did have a lot of reliability issues when they first came out. Um, back in the NSU days, I think that people were getting, that, that is that story that, uh, drivers were driving past each other and holding up fingers and that meant how many times they'd rebuilt the engines in a certain amount of period a month. So uh, these, these engines also once pushed with factory style seals, uh, if they do have any issue where detonation does creep in, they just implode. You're best off basically getting the engine, picking it up and putting it in the bin. And that was reality until about 15 years ago when a company, Power Seals, came out with an Apex seal and a a whole other range of seals that are in term unbreakable. So what that means is if you do get a detonation event, these apex seals and, and corner seals and side seals, instead of shattering into a million pieces and ruining the, the internal surface of uh, your engine, which is the compression surface. So if you get any marks in this, this the apex seal, which slides on this surface, if there's any marks on here at all, it can't seal. No seal means no compression, no compression, no power, your engine won't run. So what power seals did was develop an apex seal that is in turn unbreakable. So if you did unfortunately incur an event where there's detonation, might've been bad fuel, block fuel filter, fuel pump failure or poor tuning, um, you won't block, your engine still may suffer damage, but what more than likely will happen is that these power, power seal apex seals will just uh, bow or, or just deform slightly in shape and you might even find your engine actually still runs. It will sound a, a little bit different, uh, but it may actually still even idle or may, may start. But the biggest thing is your expensive housings and rotors won't be destroyed, which was the, the, the number one issue with pushing rotary engines in, in drag racing and, and circuit racing applications especially is that once these factory apex seals exploded, your entire engine was put in the bin. So if you've got a race engine that's worth thousands of thousands of dollars and you want to push it hard, at least now you know that with the power seal range of seals, it's not going to damage that engine. You know, yes, if, if you do have a, a hiccup or whatever with it, it's just a simple case of stripping down the engine, uh, replacing some of the seals, and away you go again. You're not expecting, because these things, these, these housings are worth, you know, um, up to $1,000 plus a piece. You've got rotors that are worth almost $1,000, $700,000 a piece, end irons and that. So you could look at, if, if you had your factory Apex seal and it shattered from a, from a blow up, you could put easily $5,000 in the bin. Whereas with the power seals, it's, it's very safe. So if you see here, they make a range of products. So they make two mil and three mil 13B Apex seals. They make 12A Apex seals. They make Apex seals for RX-8s. And they also, the RX-8 ones, they only come in petrol. Um, you'll see the other one here. This one says meth and this P is for petrol. So petrol is essentially for street cars. Uh, it's designed for longevity. Uh, and, and a lot of kilometers. Uh, it, it will also take up to, you know, a, a lot of power on, on uh, ethanol fuels and things like that. Um, but the methanol seals have a coating on it. It's, a, it's an eight thou thick coating that is specifically designed to conform to the size of and the shapes of the housing. So it means extra compression. So these apex seals have been created by power seals because Rotaries now are really starting to push the envelope. So guys are wanting to put 80 plus PSI in these engines. So the guys at Power Seals, um, so Kevin at South Coast Rotary, you see the email address there, South Coast Rotary one at bigpond.com. So Kevin uh, runs South Coast Rotary and, and these Apex Seals Power Seals is is his um, his little baby here. So he that his customers have come to him, some of the biggest rotary names in the world and said, we want, to, we want a seal that we can put 80 pounder boost into this engine and for it to seal up perfectly. So that's why he's designed these seals. So guys with really, really high horsepower drag racing ethanol and methanol engines are running these seals now. Now, those seals are, however, only for racing applications because like I said, it's got, a, it's got an eight thou um, coating over the top of them. So once that coating 
does wear down, uh, you would need to, to take that engine apart and, and replace them. But for drag racing, that's par for the course. That, that, is, that is exactly normal. Um, and, you know, drag racing engines have service life. So it's not a, a drag racing engine doesn't go in and stay in there for four or five or six years. Uh, guys generally after a season will take the engine down, strip it down like what we've done with Project Redline, um, and then assess to see how the engine health and then just reassemble it maybe new bearings or some o-ring seals so you can see other other here seals that um, other services that that south coast um, use there is things like you've got your power seal o-ring kit they do side seals as well as corner seals these corner seals are the springy type uh, and they also uh, aid in much better starting compression too. So the biggest thing about rotaries when they sometimes lose a bit of compression, you'll find RX-8 owners know it only too well, they cannot start the engine. So these apex seals and corner seals and side seals combined will aid in much, much better startup compression. And that's the hardest thing when you have compression loss is actually getting that engine to fire started. So a couple other things they do here. Um, services like semi pp and peripheral reporting engine building um so kevin at south coast is also an engine builder and very experienced tuner there's many cars out there that that south coast uh still look after and tune to this day so you can see here this is a semi pp if you're not sure what that is check out a prior video of us where we uh went over all the different types of ro rotary porting so here's a semi pp that that south coast rotary have, have done for us for one of our cars this is a big thing for keeping uh all your engine together so it's a big it's a big sandwich basically rotary engine all the bits and pieces come together this is a factory tension bolt so these go in through the rear and and screw into the front plate and and sandwich it all together you can only put it so much tension on these bolts uh, because they are they're only about nine and a half mil these this is a big half inch bolt so you can see that's a big heavy duty bolt so just like in a piston engine where people might uh, have head studs so you can see companies like arp make big head studs uh, this is essentially a big upgraded stud to sandwich that engine together. So we've got, they, they do those as well. The biggest thing, but, and what I'll demonstrate now is how these Apex seals survive and, and why you would want to run these Apex seals in your engine over, a, over like a standard Mazda one. So this is a factory Mazda Apex seal. Uh, it's in the vise. This is a hammer. You can see now, I'll just give it a tiny tap. And there it goes. So. If that was engine detonation, uh, essentially what you've got now is, I mean, it won't just snap nicely like that. What will happen is it'll snap into like a million tiny little pieces and those pieces will be dragged all the way around your housing and they'll be ruined. So this is now a factory Mazda side seal again. They snap. And again, this is just a, a standard corner seal. You can see very little pressure broke. So this, however, is a South Coast Rotary power seal. As you can see, it does not break, it does not snap, it does not fracture. So no matter how much detonation is occurring in your engine, all that's going to happen is that the, the actual sealing face will deform a bit um, but you will not suffer what is known as a catastrophic engine failure because that seal will not break, will not shatter, which is why they, they term them unbreakable seals. So you can see the pole of destruction here from a detonation event with your standard Mazda or Mazda seal um, versus, you know, this seal here. So uh, now these seals are actually quite affordable however i believe you can still even get these if this seal was still obviously you can't get that one redone but if, if the seals had just been slightly um deformed on the on the sealing surface uh you, you can actually get them even refinished but i mean for the cost of these seals it's, it's not worth it. you just buy another set anyway so they're actually um really 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 affordable so this is the number one reason why so many race teams run them so um, some of the the fastest cars in the world are running these these apex seals so uh, a lot of the guys you know there's a lot of teams out there that probably won't admit that they're running these seals uh, because there's a lot of secrecy in 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 racing uh, there always has been always will be so people won't want to admit like yes i use that that seal because they don't want their competitors to get an advantage um, one car i definitely know does run these apex seals is Steve Barnett's uh, Rotary, it's a Mazda 6. Uh, that's a testament to the quality of this product and 
yeah, if it's not just Steve running him in, in, in his you know fastest Australia two rotor, there's many many of the fastest cars around the world that are running him too. So uh, that's about it. I mean, if if you want to know more, um, you can get in contact with with the guys at Power Seals um, for our South Coast Rotary. We'll put some uh, information down in the description on how you can get in contact with Kev or where your nearest dealer might be around the world. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about Rotary Apex Seals and Rotary Seals in general. So. If there's anything else you want to know, pop it down in the comments and we'll reply to you then. Uh, until then, I'll see you later.